Okay guys, so what we have in front of us right here is what is known as a Washington style double door cage trap. Now, a lot of people don't know about these and I stumbled upon them when I saw a guy post a picture about them calling them a large beaver colony trap. So, looked into it some more, I learned about them and to be honest, this little system they have for uh, what they have to do up there is ingenious and basically what it is is it's a large colony trap style cage uh, almost always double doors um, this one was a double door it was working great but then I tried messing the I tried making a swing out door instead of a swing in and it it, it just didn't work out good. but now it's a single door until I fixed that but anyway I want to show you guys the triggering system because the triggering system is ingenious like these traps will work amazing and they're super easy to build now there's actually two kinds of trigger mechanisms for these but I'm gonna show you the one I like the most now this is a wire trigger mechanism and the way it's put together is I'm, I'm sorry I'll keep looking up because I brought this trap on campus from my house because I didn't have time to do the video at the house so I'm just looking up here now and then to make sure there's like not like some preppy person watching me or something but anyway how trigger mechanism works is you have a lateral bar with an arm that comes out here and an arm that comes out here and an arm that comes out on the middle it's kind of hard to see because everything's camouflaged but the two lateral bars on the end pivot and they hook underneath you can see that there's our pivot point there's the arm and it hooks underneath it just props up the uh, cage door and then the middle arm and all these are in sync all these are uh, completely lateral they have to be lateral but um this arm has a counter bear trigger the actual counter bear latch hooked onto it and this keeps the two arms that hold the cage door from going down. Okay. So when this is released, those can fall and release the door. And the trigger is just an average counter bear trigger. I think this is an old 110 trigger. And I just cut a piece of rod, put the trigger on there, and I just welded it across. That's complicated. And it's going to be a little askew. It's not going to be like a regular trigger. You're going to have to kind of bend it, rebend the triggers, but whatever. And basically, what happens is when the animal goes in and he trips it, that releases from the power of the door, and the door closes because these fall. I mean, it's really simple. Once you understand it, once you build one of these and understand it, you can put this in a lot of different traps. Now, the doors for these are now a swing. These are a uh, swing out door. Now, swing in. And from talking to some of the guys, they actually said these doors are better than, say, the swing ins. Because if you get an animal like this and they're not all the way in, they can't back out. They have to keep going in. And you want to smooth all this down so you don't end up like cutting them or something if it gets like that. But with the power mechanism, for a power door, if you want to set it like on its side and stuff, because this will work on its side. It's pretty simple. A lot of people just, they take a trap spring. This is just a booster spring. Not very heavy. Booster spring from like a Duke, one and, not a Duke, uh, like a Bridger one and a half. I uh, weld this little bar right here so it gets some tension on it. And then I kind of loop it around right here. And now you have a power door. I'm going to set this on the side real quick and uh, okay and here it is on its side and I got a pine cone and I'm going to see if I can trip it like this because it's kind of a pain to film it and trip it so nope but anyway it's on its side still closed it'll close upside down too but it's kind of tricky with this mechanism, but you can set it on its side long ways like this, or you can just set it down either way. 
Uh, I find it cool. If you like want like a little skunk trap or something, you can build these for beaver, otter. Uh, I've seen them use them for bobcat. Same trick mechanism. But uh, I posted some pictures about these you know, in a lot more refined fashion. But this is just my little one. So, I mean, you can do this for squirrels, rabbits, raccoons. Uh, the possibilities are endless once you really figure out how this works so i just want to post this video real quick and show you guys so hope you hope you get, hope this helps somebody so